Lake City and just to the south end of the east of Salt Lake City. That's where we find meteorologist Mike Seidel. He is live there this morning. Good morning to you, Mike. Hey, Chris, out here on the bench is about a thousand feet up higher than the city, and we have had seven inches and counting. Snow intensity is backed off for now, but uh, down, uh, I should say, up the benches towards Bountiful, they've had over a foot of snow so far. The plows just came up Wasatch Boulevard just a moment ago. I can see them in the distance. So they uh, plowed the snow over to the uh, side. There's actually a lane here, a turn lane, into the shopping center. Uh, what we've noticed, consistency of the snow has changed. The temperature falling from 32, 33 down into the upper 20s up here uh, in the holiday area. Again, we're in the southeast uh, side of town. And as the snow continues to come down, vehicles and the morning rush gets underway. What we've noticed, if you don't have four-wheel or all-wheel drive or chains, it's going to be tough to get up this hill. We've seen plenty of cars with just front-wheel drive spinning out. And to go up into the canyons, you've got to have chains or four-wheel drive up into Cottonwood, Little and Big Cottonwood Canyon. And again, first time they've had to really do this this season. Snowfall has been really a, a deficit, much like back east. They only had about an inch and a half. Most of that fell on Thanksgiving weekend. And uh, they're down about 13 inches. So the plows come out, not only the DOT trucks, but here in the local parking lots, the landscapers who uh, typically around the country where it snows become snowplow operators and clean out the parking lots and shovel the sidewalks in the wintertime. So we're going to be snowing all day tonight into Tuesday. The winter storm warning goes until Tuesday night. We have an avalanche warning in the back country. We have an unstable surface. And with snow and wind, we could have avalanches. The best bet is to stay out of the back country. Right now, Jen, that avalanche Lanch warning continues until 6 a.m. on Tuesday. Jen? Yeah, Mike Seidel, certainly a lot of danger with that, with the avalanche warning and the winter storm warning going until tomorrow. 